notion here was, I mean, obviously we've got this big concrete bridge. I mean, talk about a bowl in the china shop. You'll see there are also some trestles further up. I mean, there's just this kind of industrial, these industrial artifacts left over. And so we were trying to repurpose them and um, make them work for us. And what this is designed to do is not create a woodland scene because we got the woodlands right here, right? But this tells you something about um, patterns in nature and the idea that there are patterns that recur from microcosmic to macroscopic um, levels. For example, the geometry of nature. Circles are, I mean circles are everywhere, right? It's a perfect form. <laughs> And um, so you can see in here, you've got the circular um, rings of the, the cut trunk of the tree. And if you look closely, it turns into a small solar system with orbiting planets. And then you've got these pollen uh, grains spinning off, and you've got the atom down there. And um, so showing how this kind of geometry occurs at all different levels, um, not only in the, um, uh, the geometry, but in terms of cycles. If you think of the cycles that govern life, and the seasons, and or the life the, cycle. Even the cicada that lived for 17 years exactly, under the ground. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then the other pattern that we really played with in here is this kind of branching pattern of the, the roots, which you see in branches, in roots. This turns off into a river. That actually is a topographic map tracing out the ravine that we're in right now. And um, the line kind of slashed the middle of it is um, the bridge we're standing under. We need a you are here right there, a dot. Um, let me be that. Yeah. <laughs> but everything that's in here, the oak leaves, the trillium, the ants, these are all species that you will find in the ravine. But they're um, illustrated in a way that gets at this notion of patterns and cycles and rhythms in nature. And then the last thing I'll say about this, this piece is called the Ark of Nature. And these um, beautiful arcs that cross through it um, do kind of double duty, both um, kind of conveying the notion that all of nature is connected, almost as the web of life. It looks a bit web-like. And um, um, also, they kind of suggest uh, lines of longitude and latitude on a map, suggesting that this is something that we are all a part of in a place. Um, together with nature. And so there's a lot going on here. But you, you can imagine a group of school kids coming down here. There's so many lessons built into this. There's a lot of lessons built into a lot of the artwork, and that was part of the point. So.